Welcome to Smooth Sailing Online Support TV, the place for weekly tips and strategies designed to help you be more efficient, productive, and profitable in your business. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Smooth Sailing Online Support TV. I'm your host and Captain Lindsay Phillips, steering you through the choppy waters of fast-paced business growth. So speaking of growth, um, many businesses grow and bring in more coaching clients or um, just in general um, by having events. And so today I thought I would talk about putting those events on Facebook and I want to show you how. So I'm going to share my screen and dive in. I'm going to go to my Facebook page here out of the way so when you're on your profile if you hit more you'll see there's videos events and so forth so of course you want to go to events and these are a couple of the past events that are still in here but for this purposes I want to create an event the first thing you want to know and do is set it to whether it's a private event so members only, maybe you're putting on an event for your coaching clients or your team members. Therefore, you would want to keep that private. Now, most events, of course, you want to promote and market to, whether it's an online event, an in-person event, <clears throat> and so forth. So you would change that to create public event. So hosting, of course, that would be my business page so you would put your business page in there as well um, this kind of defaulted to this picture but if you of course would create a graphic for the event and put it in there of course your event name so for this I am just gonna do a test you can um, you know put online you, if you were at a place you would actually pick the location so of course you would pick the date and the time, how long it would be. There's categories as well, um, whether it's business or entertainment, um, or you can just leave it. Of course you would you know, type in a description of what the online or the in-person event would be. You can put in keywords, um, whether it's free or not. Now the ticket URL, that of course would be your landing page. So where you would want to get registrants, again, whether it's an in-person event or an online event, your registration um, landing page. You can add in your co-hosts if you're having any of those. Um, you also need to decide whether you want only the hosts to post in the event discussion or if you want people that are registering or people that are interested to be able to ask questions um, on that board. Or again, you can make sure that the posts have to be approved by you first before they go up there live. And then you simply create. I mean, if you're not ready to create, you can actually schedule it ahead of time. If your event is next month and you want this to kind of pop up in three weeks from now or two weeks from now, you can schedule it or you can save it as a draft to kind of review and deal with that later. So for now, let's kind of create this. Um, oh, apparently it does want to, ah, it's a comedy. Um, I'm going to create the event, the test event. And so here is what the event page would look like. And of course, people would write in posts. You can add in posts, add some pictures, create a poll, and so forth. And you can see here, you can invite your friends. So you would punch in their names there and invite them directly through Facebook. And you can see here, you can share the event. You can share this event on one of your web pages and obviously edit and so forth. So this kind of a page is a really great way to market any of your online events or in-person events uh, through Facebook just to kind of get more visibility, get more exposure, and obviously to get more registrants. So give it a try, guys, and dive in if you're having any online events. Of course, if you want any help setting these kinds of things up, um, especially the landing pages, your emails, and so forth, uh, reach out to um, info at ssonlinesupport.com. Of course, we do all that good stuff um, to help grow your business. So until next week, folks, I wish you all a productive and profitable week, and may the winds always be at your back.